Hi guys and gals, thanks for tuning in. Let's build a PC! Alright guys, thanks for tuning in. Um, this is the AMD FX8350. Just look at the little arrow on both the chip and the socket. Line it up very carefully, not to bend any pins. It should fit in just like that. And what you want to do is apply a little bit of pressure, push down the rod, that'll lock it in place, and we're ready to put in some RAM. You notice the center slot on the on the RAM. You want to make sure you put that in. If you put it in backwards, it may break the chip. So pay very close attention. All you want to do is line it up, drop it in, and you're going to need quite a bit of pressure to get in. You'll hear it click. Here we have uh, our thermal paste. Most of uh, stocks are going to come with thermal paste pre-applied, but in this case I'm doing a rebuild for you guys just so you can see my build. So I'm reapplying new thermal paste. That's Arctic Silver 5. It's pretty basic, common, uh, most well-known. It's not the best, but it's, uh, well, it's effective. But once you put on just enough, you drop the heat sink on. Uh, what I do is wiggle it around a little bit, get it to uh, spread a little even. And you want to put the clip on the back side, and then put the clip on the front side. Then all you have to do is hold it steady and flip the lever, and it will push everything down. Your thermal paste will start to spread even more. Uh, here's your CPU fan. It's just pretty easy. You just plug it right in. Make sure you have something non-conductive underneath your motherboard so nothing can short out or anything like that. It's pretty important. Right here is your standoffs for your motherboard. It keeps your motherboard from grounding out on the case. You want to make sure those are put in place. It's very important. You want to put those in pretty snug. It's the rear I.O. panel. It just clips right in. Easy. I could have edited out all the stumbling with it, but I mean, you know, it's as tricky as it, it needs to be, I guess, but it just pops right in. It's pretty simple. Looks just like that. Alright, now let's put the motherboard in. Be real careful. You can hold it by the heat sink fan. That's what I do most of the time. In this case, I had plenty of room to work with. I gave myself everything I needed so I was, I was pretty well prepared and just dropped it in you want to put in the screws in my case this is a ATX board so it uses I believe 10 10 screws uh, that one I had trouble with so I had to come back to it you just use a, either a skinny screwdriver or a shorter one get in there and get the screws in straight there's the CX600 power supply it's pretty straightforward Put the fan down if you've got ventilation on the bottom, the fan up if you don't. You just put it in place, put your screws in the back of it, and you're good to go. Most people will put it in before the motherboard, but it gives you more room if you wait. Just depends on your personal preference, I guess. Easy as that. There's your CPU 8-pin plug. It goes right close to the CPU. That's what's going to power your processor. It comes right off the power supply, clicks in very simple you know it's not as hard as most people think there's your 24 ATX power that's gonna power the rest of the motherboard comes right off the power supply just click it in and you're good to go in that respect it's the DVD drive in my case I got the light on it was the cheapest one just use it to install Windows some disk games if you end up getting them um, I have the easy uh, toolless installation it came with my case which is a rose will red bone goes right in that's your SATA power right off the power supply it's going to plug in on the left side of your SATA drives whether it's a hard drive or, or a optical drive in this case your SATA data which is pretty much the equivalent to an HDMI for the TV it's one cable and it does all your signal and data transfer back and forth from the system to your optical drive or your hard disk drive solid states uh, it's pretty easy. You just make sure you put it in correctly. Don't bend anything. There's the SSD install. It's the Kingston HyperX 128 gig. I got that one because it had the fastest advertised read and write speeds. 
boots up Windows really fast. Again, there's the toolless installation. Kind of screwed up. Had to put it in a little bit more. Tighten it up. Good to go. SATA power. Left side. Put that in snugly. And get your SATA data right into the motherboard. Then right into your SSD. And that's ready to rock and roll. Here's the Seagate 500 gig 7200 RPM hard drive. Same thing, SATA power. On the left side, SATA data right next to it. And that hard drive is ready to spin up at 7200 RPMs. Motherboard's a little tricky with the side facing. There's a Sapphire Duplex card, 7970. Just slots right in as easy as possible. I had a little difficulty with it because I used the hard drive to kind of prop it up on the one side. It works good for me, it doesn't sag or droop. Then you drop in your two screws because mine takes up two spaces in the back. Here's your PCIe power. In this case, mine takes two 8-pin, which my power supply supports, I guess, a 6-pin and the two offshoot. You can adapt it to an 8-pin. I kind of put my hand on the back of the of the PC, PCB just so it doesn't move or twist or anything to allow me to snap it in snugly and get it to click. And there we go. The GPU is ready to rock and roll. That's my rear fan port. Rear, fo rear fan. Um, there's the power for it. it. Comes right off the motherboard. Um, any other fans you have, it'll be the same thing. Just follow system fan. There's the front I/O. That's for your power switch, your reset, your HDD LEDs, and your power light uh, LED. And just put those into the corresponding color. It's pretty easy, but they're so tiny and it's in a tough spot. I would probably suggest do that first after you get your 24 pin power and your 8 pin power. Go ahead and do the front IO and make it a little easier before the GPU's in. That allows you to power on. And that's good. Here's your speaker that will post any error codes you may have. Hopefully it's just one crisp short beep and your system is up and running the way it should. HD audio plug is for my front uh, headphone jack and microphone jack. If you look mine says F audio plugs into the, the red area right there just like the fans would or the front IO. Just plugs right in. That's my front USBs which are 3.0. It comes with a connector like that. You plug it into the corresponding connector. Most things will only fit one way, so you know you don't have to worry about getting things wrong. I mean, be extra careful, but most things will only go in one. Way. And there we go. We did it, guys. The cable management is not the best, but if you try a lot harder, I'm sure you could do way better than I did. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe. I'm Timbo D.